that was easy. By the time that you're done with this video, you're going to understand fully and completely how to manifest your specific person regardless if there's a third party involved or not. You're going to also know how to prevent third party situations in the future. No matter what is going on in your situation, I swear, if you do what is in this video, you will never have to deal with third party nuisances again. So watch till the end so that you understand fully and you can fully apply this tactic. Hey guys, I'm Jasmine and I'm going to tell you how to manifest a specific person even if there's a third party involved. Now, I'm probably the best person to tell you about this because I'm the super queen at this. I'm the super master manifester of third party situations and not having to deal with them. So, I've been getting a lot of questions on this, so I'm really happy to answer this for you guys because I've got this down pat and if you listen to what I say and if you apply it and if you watch this video till the end, you'll have it down pat too. The first thing that I have to say is that you have to stop being bothered. Obviously, you're bothered by a third party situation. You're bothered by the third party, the idea, you're thinking in your mind and seeing images in your mind of them being with someone else and them being into someone else and them liking someone else, them being interested in someone else. All those things have to stop and you have to stop being bothered by it. That's number one. If you want to manifest a situation where your partner is 100% with you and loyal to you and you only engaged, involved, and committed to you in a singular partnership, then you have to stop reacting to the reality where that's not happening. Because every time that you react and respond and engage within an emotional state that is surrounded by that third party situation, okay, so like if you're reacting to that, you're in that vibrational state, and then the universe is like, yeah, that's what you're doing, so that's what you're getting. So you're in that reality, you're engaging in that reality, you're reacting to that reality, you're responding to that reality, that's the reality that you're in, and that's what we're gonna keep dishing out. And that's why it's so frustrating, because the more that you want it to stop, the more that it doesn't stop. In fact, it just gets worse. And so it's like this horrible, vicious cycle. I'm sure that you know. So you have to stop reacting. You have to stop responding. You have to be emotionless to that reality. And I'm gonna help you do this in this video. But that number one is like, no matter what's happening, it doesn't matter. Like you cannot respond to it. So you have to be reactionless. You have to not feel into the reality of the third party situation. Because if you respond to that, react to that, and if you feel into it, then that is what is going to keep happening, okay? So when you're feeling into the reality of the third party situation happening, you're not confident, you're insecure, you're not sure and certain and in your knowing about like the relationship, the connection and that they're really into you and they really love you and that nothing can take them away from you. So you have to know those things. You have to know they're super into me and nothing's ever gonna take them away from me. What I do, it might like, you're gonna laugh. This is hilarious. Here's what I do in my situation, okay? With everybody. So I value freedom and love. So I think that it's really important to like allow people to explore if they want to. But at the same time, do I want monogamy? I get it. I get monogamy. I, I can't I can't throw my partner at someone enough or or encourage them enough to get them to want to hang out with somebody else but me. Okay? And it's because I have no resistance to it. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't feel into it at all. And that's the key. You don't want to feel into it at all. So what's going through my head, okay? So what's going through my head is that I'm confident enough to let them do and explore, to let my specific person do and explore whatever it is that they want, whoever it is that they want, however it is that they want, and know that it doesn't matter because they love me, they're into me, and there is no person on this earth who could ever replace me. There's no person on this earth who could ever be more interesting than me, who could ever be more wonderful than me, who could ever be more awesome than me, who could ever entice them and intrigue them and turn them on the way that I do. I'm just really confident about all those things. So it's almost like I'm pushing, I could push them away to someone else 
And in the back of my mind, it's like, it's almost like a game. I'm like, yeah, I go over there because I know that you're gonna come running back to me. I know that you're gonna come running and screaming back to me. I know that like, you're not even gonna like being over there with them. Cause I know that I'm really what you want. So let's like play this little cat and mouse game. Let's play this little coquettish game. I'm just trying to, to tell you as vividly as I can, my perspective and what goes through my mind because my perspective works. So you're not feeling into the situation. If you're aggravated, if you're upset, if you're scared, if you're insecure, these are all things that you need to stop doing. Don't pay attention to anything that they say. Don't pay attention to anything that they say unless if you like it. So I'm going to give you an example, okay? So I had a specific person and I decided that we were going to see other people, okay? And that specific person was the kind of person who is really good at having whatever girl that he wants, okay? He's that kind of guy that he just attracts beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, wonderful, awesome women at the drop of a hat. He's always got them banging on his doorstep, all right? So that's the kind of guy that we're dealing with here. So he goes on Tinder and he meets this girl and apparently she's beautiful and she's from Australia or whatever. She surprises him and flies down to see him and he's all excited and he's telling me and he's like and I was like wow That's really weird. Like I was like be careful like don't give her any money Like that's really weird that she would do that and he's like, oh, no, like she's totally awesome Like she's totally into me like she's visiting me from Australia and I was like, okay And I just went along my merry way. Here's what ended up happening. So he goes out with her and he can't stop thinking about me while he's with her. And she's beautiful, there's nothing wrong with her, she's a wonderful person, but he can't stop thinking about me. And so he literally comes home and I'm like sleeping and he basically comes home and whispers sweet nothings into my ear and asks me if we can be monogamous and if we can be together and if we can, you know, like put more into our relationship. The story is to help you understand that no matter what the circumstances are, you can still manifest what you want. Anything can happen. So like, it doesn't matter if like someone is beautiful or not beautiful or like there's nothing else that has anything to do with your chances besides your vibration and what you're manifesting. I really want you to know that. I don't want you guys to look at me and be like, oh, well, you're beautiful and you're awesome and you're confident. And so like, of course, like nobody wants anybody but you. Look, like I could manifest people who cheat on me too, okay? Anybody can. So confidence is really important. You don't have to be confident about everything all the time. Nobody is, but you can choose to be confident on this particular subject. And even if you have to, you know, change your beliefs and fake it till you make it, and declare it and reinforce it and work on it, you can make this happen for yourself and you can make it a reality and you can make your specific person want you more than anybody else and you can make your specific person by, you know, you can manifest your specific person not being with whoever it is that they're with or not being interested in, in anybody else and you can make them 100% purely and solely focused and interested on, in you. I'm just going to stop the video right here and say if you are not 100% fully confident in you, how is your specific person going to be fully 100% confident in you? You really have to believe that this is possible. You know, like if you don't believe what I'm saying and if you don't believe that it's possible and if, if when I'm saying this to you, you're like, oh, well, she's you know an anomaly like she should talk like of course it's easy for her or like that's probably not gonna work for me like if you don't think it's gonna work for you and if you think it only works for me then it's not gonna work for you what I'm saying is that it can totally work for you and you can totally make this work for you this can work for anybody this can work for anybody okay anybody can have whoever it is that they want at their feet totally into them totally wanting to be with them totally completely 100% devoted to them so your specific person can be completely 100% devoted to you it kind of goes back to the cliche about being like the cool girl or like the cool guy you have to be like super relaxed, super confident. You have to know, even if they go out with someone else, 
even if they go out with someone else, even if they talk about going out with someone else, even if they talk about being interested in other people, even if they look at other people, even, I don't care, no matter what. They could be standing there with someone else, talking to someone else, engaging with someone else, and you are totally calm and cool and collected through the whole thing because you know that no matter what they are doing over there, that you are the only one that they really connect to, the only one that they really love, and nobody can replace you. When you know that enough to where like, nothing even rises up within you when you hear or see or think about them being with a third party, when you're really confident about that, you're not really feeling into that third party reality anymore. And when you're not really feeling into that third party reality anymore, it starts to disappear. It will disappear. I think the next really important thing that I don't want to leave out is that you just, in general, you just need to know that like, no matter what they do, who they see, don't see, whatever, what I, like you just have to know that like, none of it can affect your relationship or your connection or like their connection to you or how they feel about you. Like, if you know that, like, that's it. You're gold, you're gonna be confident, you're gonna feel peaceful about it, like, you're not gonna care, it's not gonna bother you. And you'll find that they, they just do come back to you and then your belief will be reinforced. You can create anything that you want, any relationship that you want, and you can create anything that you want. By applying this tactic, if you're doing it correctly, they're going to end up really, really being very unyieldingly, loyally in love with you because when there's no doubt within you, when there's no fear within you, when you're not contradicting your own desire and when your desire is very clear and when you clearly believe in it with your vibration, what is the evidence that you're not on edge, you're not nervous, you're not anxious, you're not doubtful, you're like super calm, you're super confident about it, you are living in a reality where that person is yours. That person is mine. That thing is mine. If you know something is yours, it's going to be yours. I don't think this is that hard to apply. It really helped me like learning the value and knowing the value of, you know, letting something go and letting it come back to you, freedom and love, you know? Freedom is just as important as love. Like to me, they're one and the same thing. So that's why I really don't feel threatened if my partner like goes over there, whatever. Like, but now I'm in a situation where like I can't even get my partner to go over there. This is not like textbook guesswork stuff. This is like what actually works in real life tested method and technique. So try to feel into what I'm saying and if you need some help you can always get sessions with me. Whatever goal that you have I'm gonna help you do it by the end of the session. So please like and subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. I'm a brand new channel, but my shit is really good. So just share it with people. And I have my full playlist around here somewhere on the screen for you guys. So if you wanna learn how to manifest your specific person effortlessly using Law of Attraction, you can check out my playlist. I have lots of good content for you guys there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. That was easy.